Welcome to day two of our negativity fast. Today's lesson, a lying apple tree. What, mm. One of my favorites. <laughs> Let's just laugh at a lying apple tree. <laughs> you know, when I asked the Lord years ago, I said, Lord, show me lies that I'm believing. He took a phrase out of Genesis 3.11 where, where God asked Adam, who told you that you were naked? And he took, he shortened that, who told you that and began talking to me. So I would say things like this. Uh, I do not have the gift of healing. <laughs> yep, let's laugh at that. <laughs> or or I, I would say, well, I would say, uh, I am a disorganized person. <laughs> let's laugh at that. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit would say, who told you, Steve, that you don't have the gift of healing or you're a disorganized person? And I realized who told me that was my past. My past told me those things. And I realized I created more of my identity out of my past than I did who God said I was. And I actually renewed my mind more with the past than with God's word. I believe this. I believe that Christians' perpetual agreement with negative past experience creates the biggest strongholds that block the purposes of God. Now, What's interesting here, and I believe one of the main reasons that, that people, that Christians are, are pessimistic is because they're actually focusing on the past than their future. And it's just a bad idea. Let, let's just laugh at this. You are who your past says you are. <laughs> God doesn't see us according to the past. He sees us according to our future. Romans 4, 17 says, God who gives life to the dead, he does that by calling those things that are not as though they are. And so the way the Lord actually brings transformation is for someone to call themselves by their future instead of their past. And this is really the, the basis of declarations. We make declarations to actually call ourselves by the future by who God says we are, than, than, than by the past. I mean, for, for instance, today we, we say in this, this great devotional, I have great favor with God and man. People love me. Wow. Now that may not be in our experience yet, but it's still, it's true about you. And as we call ourselves by the future, faith comes by hearing, it says in Romans 10, 17, it breaks off the argument of the past and then we actually renew our mind with that and we'll transform our future into who God says we are. So we bless you in the name of the Lord. We say today is going to be the best day of your life. Get ready. God's goodness will manifest in you like never before. Somebody say amen. 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 We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.